carriageways can now be added using template based design using a library of supplied road categories. Templates can be adjusted and saved to build up libraries for future use. Template changes can be made along the route. String naming is automatic from the MX Road feature name set. Select Design, Road Design, Carriageways or select Road Design from the MX Road toolbar. The tools are generally used left to right. We have Carriageways, Rule Based Super Elevation, Road Widening, Shoulders and finally Curbs, Verges and Footways. The design process is to select a road centerline which then leads onto the template library. If the MX Road feature name set has not been previously assigned, MX recognises this and enforces it. MX supplies a library of standard road templates which can be selected graphically or from descriptions. Select Browse to access the different styles folders. Edit becomes active when a template is selected. Elements can be added or deleted. Individual elements can be amended. Widths and levels can be assigned by crossfall or vertical offset. An LC string is used by MX Road as the basis for all levels across the template. The super elevation functions will update the levels on the LC string if necessary, so the NC string levels remain intact as the original vertical profile design. This is done to ensure that you can go back to the vertical profile design phase if necessary. Reference offsets are normally only used on dual carriageways and will be the same value as the curb face. When changes have been made to the template, click next to either save to overwrite the current template or save as to create a new template with a new name. You will have the opportunity to store the template in either the public, project or private folders. To apply a template, supply start and end locations for the current template. The default is the full length of the alignment. Another length can be applied with a different template or using the same template or select finish. Gaps must be left when using different templates and MX Road will join the gaps automatically if required. If two or more lengths have been applied, there are choices to make. Do you want them joined or not? How do you want them joined? Linear or reverse curved tapers are available both horizontally and vertically. We're going to design carriageway edges using the template design method. I select road design from the MX Road toolbar. I'm then going to select carriageways. I need to check that my design model is correct and I need to select the reference string. This is MC10. I'm going to hit next and I'm now going to browse through the public folder until I find a suitable template. We're going to base this on the MFW single two lane 7.3 meter carriageway. I'm going to edit this because we require 4.5 meter widths on this template. I've got the left hand side of this template active. It's currently 3.65 meters wide. I'm going to make it 4.5. I have a crossfall of 0.025 down. Can you see the red arrow? This is 2.5% falling away from the road center line. I now need to go to the right hand half of the template because this is at 3.65 meters. I need to change this to 4.5. Again, the cross fall for this half of the carriageway is falling away from the center line at 0.025%. Reference offset. Because this is a single carriageway, the vertical offset of the LC string relative to the MC string will be zero. Therefore, the levels will be the same. I now want to save this template. So I'm going to go next and I'm going to make sure that I hit save as, as I don't want to overwrite the original template. I'm going to put in a description, training 9 meter, and you must remember to select and highlight the text and go right hand mouse button copy. 
This is because I'm just about to name this template and if you type something very complicated in for the description you always tend to forget what you typed in when you come to name the file. So I'm going to go next. If this was a template that I was going to use time and time again for many schemes I would save this in the public folder but because this is a one-off for training purposes I'm going to save this in the project folder and this is where I'm going to right click paste the description and therefore the file name will be the same. I'm going to hit save. I'm now into the start and end for the template and because I'm running this for the full length of the scheme I do not have to type or pick from the screen my change range I just hit next I can see on the plan that my carriageway edges have been generated if I window in you can see they have been updated in the display as well I've then got choices I can se select next to create another length with a different template back to create another length with the same template or I can hit finish to exit. Well I've completed this first road so I'm going to hit finish.